We're here, ready to do our four and a half drill. What that entails is putting the object ball on the spot and moving the cue ball along the rails at each diamond, side pocket. Coming all the way around, when we pass the halfway point, we'll start shooting the ball in this pocket. It's a torturous drill, but it's very, very important. And let me explain the reason why. When you're using this system, the easiest numbers to pick out are always going to be 0 and 9, using them for reference points. <coughs> when I'm shooting the 1s and 2s, I always refer to the zeros. Later on, when you see me shooting the 7s and 8s, I'll be over here referring to the 9. Well, these inner contact points, I really want you to get in touch with. And the best way is to get used to the 4.5. So then you have your cue ball broken down into the, the 0 contact point, 4.5, and the nine, and you'll be able to play off them. When you get good at the four and a half, you know what a five and a six feels like, and a three and a four. Three key points. And this four and a half drill is very important. I'm gonna do the whole thing for you. I've been doing it for years. I, I did this drill before I invented the aiming system. And my average then was more than double what it is now. Right now I average seven or eight misses all the way around the table. And before, if I did it in 17 misses, I was very happy. And other players tried to help me with it. They adjusted my stance and my bridge. And nothing comes close to knowing the answer on how to aim the shot and letting that guide you into it. Okay, we'll start right off here with the object ball. Well, here's the beautiful thing I just want to tell you. The four and a half contact point never changes. Okay? It never changes. All the way down here, I'm gonna be focused. I'm gonna be focused on that four and a half contact point, all these shots. That contact point never changes. This one never changes. We're gonna learn the four and a half line right to the side pocket. Four and a half line right to the side pocket. Very important. We don't deal with too many halves. Okay. This four and a half right here is very, very important. Once again, the system is 10 major shots. There are half, there are some of them I'll be shooting like a one, one and a quarter. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. Let's start off right here, four and a half. There's a normal cue ball. Look at this contact point. Boom. Then you can physically pick it up. You know where the zero is, you know where the nine is, the four and a half is right in between those two lines. Those two spots, rather. Line them up and make sure you don't start staring balls. You miss the ball, you gotta stay on that spot. Two ball, next diamond up. Contact point. Contact point. Hopefully you'll be hearing me in your sleep. Contact point, contact point. Well, I really believe those are the answers in pool. Matching up those two contact points, okay? This next shot right out of the side pocket. I want you to shoot it two ways. You want it close to the pocket. Watch out for these. Okay, pocket gets in the way. Pull out a little bit. I want you to shoot it two ways. One way, I just want you to stay level and roll it in. The other way, I want you to jack up and hit a little firm. What I do when I'm doing the drill is on this side, I'm just going to roll it in. When I come around and I shoot it over here later, I'm going to jack up and, and punch it in. That one, this is a straight in shot, but I still. I still think of the, the four and a half. I still think of the contact point in the front. Let that guide me. Sometimes it looks wrong. Good shit. And once again, it's very important to use the balls in rotation that way. If you do miss from somewhere, you won't forget which diamond you were on, which can't happen very easily. That contact point, take a look at it, angle of entry. Fifth shot, shoot the fireball.
just feeling for the front of my cue ball. That's what I'm doing. I see the spot on the five, just feeling for the point on the cue ball, try to match them up so I can stay straight. Now, I've done this drill several times where I only had two misses. I hate to talk about misses. One time I did it with one miss, but I've never gone all the way around the table without missing. And when you get over here, and you haven't missed, you start thinking about that. Take your time, mentally aiming, you know the answers, walk yourself through it. Okay, now we're not going to skip these corner pockets. I want you to put the ball in the corner pocket somewhere. I'll let you put it anywhere you want. Okay, but just try to keep it at least within these points. Don't put it out there too much. And wherever you want, because the pockets are all different and different tables, wherever you're comfortable. Okay. That's a good idea to put it where you want first. Check it out. And then start aiming the shot. Pretty good, stay straight. Once again, you're going to have a favorite side of the table and a not so favorite side of the table. You're going to get stuck in spots that you find you just keep missing on one side. That's because you're looking at the shot the wrong way. Okay? I want you to reprogram yourself with proper contact points, how to look at it. A lot of angles make you look at the balls the wrong way. Okay. When I sing seven, I empty out the pockets. I don't have the ball returns. end rail, all three diamonds here. Easier to pick out the contact point now. Check out the E. Look at it. Now here's where you can see how far the contact point is from the edge of the E. See how much it is. This system does break down from contact point to contact point to equal portions also. Okay? But I want to improve your perception of the front of the ball because that's what's doing, doing the work. Right here, come back here, freezing the contact point on the cue ball in my head. My eyes are open, but I'm just thinking about that contact point on the front. I want to get a good connection with that. Start aiming it with the contact point on the E. When I get that, I'll shoot. Good shot. Nine ball, tough shot. Same pocket. Right here. You have to tell yourself not to think about the angle, how full and how thin. Still, contact point, contact point. Just dwell on that. Let that guide you, because that's the correct answer. There's no more guesswork. This contact point, right there, baby. Mentally aiming. A little fat. Four to four. Don't try to adjust fuller and thinner. Okay? That's not the problem. 
This is the answer. Keep track of your misses any way you want. I know that's three for me. You can use a piece of paper, you can use beads. Sometimes you can get stuck in one of these spots, missed 10 in a row. I've seen it happen a hundred times. Myself, my students, we all do it. The best thing to do is to go a little slower. Don't try hard, don't shoot faster, just trying to make it get, just shoot a little slower. Now shoot the 10 ball over there. Keep ball right here. What I learned coming down this side, my perception was way off. I would miss these balls, not right here, but right here, right here. Constantly drive it over there, never hit it too full. And that's because I was on the right side of the cue ball. It was just throwing my perception, just aiming with the left, creating more of an angle that really wasn't there. Okay. You can block out the angles and everything else, focus on the true answers. It'd be a lot better off. Nice, sweet. Usually I don't have a witness, but I'm going good. When I did with one miss, I had one man, I was teaching him how to aim. Okay, back in the pocket. Put the cue ball there first where you want to get comfortable. You gotta really freeze that because you're gonna take your eyes off it. You wanna, you wanna be able to remember when you come back up to it. to do it, and when I miss the old way, I really get a little aggravated. Yeah. Not worrying too much about the cue ball position. This uh, drill is demanding enough. <clears throat> Just go and work on your aim. Get in touch with the four and a half. I have to drill the four and a half. You need that as a reference point. You need that four and a half. Three reference, point, reference points on the cue ball. Right there. A little tougher to see for me over here. But I have to get in touch with this spot. Because when I aim it properly, it feels way too full to me. But I've learned to reprogram myself what the true picture should look like, should feel like. And then I trust I trust these numbers more than I trust my past perception. There you go. Terrible. I trust the numbers more than I trust my past perception. My eyes were lying to me, my perception was lying to me. And that's why I consistently miss certain shots over the years.
this shot right here, I definitely like to aim it up really, really straight and then feel the four and a half. Okay, don't just fall on it, because some people will cut it way too much. Okay, I almost missed because I was going to tell you I'd much rather miss right there than overcut that ball. Okay, here's your five ball, like I said, we're over here. Now I like to see the jack up, try to stop the ball dead. And a lot of you, I don't have too much jacked up information on this tape, but if you let these contact points guide you, it's going to look like a totally different picture. It might look very incorrect to you, and you're going to learn how and why to correct that. Two more shots. And if you're doing good, like I'm doing pretty good right here, thank God. You're gonna get nervous, you know, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna develop a record. You might have 30 misses the first time you do this, and then 25. And you just constantly keep breaking your record. And then you'll peak out to an average. I mean, my average right now is still around seven and a half. I think if I can get it down to five, I'd be very, very, very happy with that. You should be over at 20. Okay, last shot, aim it up properly. Boom, boom, boom. There's your four and a half. Stay straight, smooth, don't stare. There you go. There's the four and a half drill. I think I had four misses there, that's fantastic for me. I'm very happy with four. But I get more than ten. I get a little aggravated. Some of my sheets, I got a 15 or something like that. Anyways, enough for me. Very important to get in touch with that contact point. Gonna need it as a reference point. We're gonna start shooting some fives in the next segment, some sixes. Those contact points are right next to it. And I believe the players that get in touch with that, <clears throat> the best, are gonna be the most consistent and successful players with this system. They're the hardest ones to find and get in touch with. Like I said, the zeros and nine, easy reference points. All right, good luck with the four and a half. Do it as much as you can. If you don't got time to do the whole routine, just do your four and a half drill. If you got a half an hour, one hour, just do your four and a half. Get good at this as fast as possible, okay? We'll be right back, and we got a lot of number fives and sixes to shoot in the next segment.